Hello everybody, my name is Imperi and welcome to the Payne's Creek Killings. This game appeared on my Steam and I have a strong feeling this may have appeared in some TikTok videos. Uh, but I wanted to hop on, have a look firsthand, see how it is. So, hop on in, let's go ahead and start the Payne's Creek Killings. New game! Because there's no option of old game. Um, this game seeks to emulate to a certain degree the experience of investigating a murder case. You will need to search each location carefully. Find clues to proceed and use your observation and deduction skills to uncover the hidden secrets. We recommend writing your own notes and or taking advantage of the in-game camera. Oh, okay. The game also saves whenever you enter a location. Should you encounter a bug or problem while playing, such as being stuck behind furniture or getting pushed out of the game world, simply use the reload button in the menu transport back. Your game will continue from there and you'll retain everything and up until this point. I have to write? I can only just about read. Um... Right, okay. Where's that cool notebook that I have? Hey, uh, Janet. So Shit. the chief has entrusted you with my assignment, hey? Everyone fill me on what I'm missing. I hope it didn't interfere with your weekend plans. Anyway, he uh, told me to call you and fill you in on it. You remember the murder that happened a few years back that was never solved? Oh, yeah, that murder. The one at Payne's Creek where the ex-mayor's wife was killed? <gasps> well, the property's Exposition. being auctioned off soon, so we don't have much time to dig up anything that's relevant to the case. So see what you can find. Hopefully it'll be something worth publishing. Anyway, take care. I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> Things happening all at once. Like me, panicking about finding a pen. Which I'm still doing right now, by the way. <laughs> the Hartford Times. It's 1999. Who killed Vivian Roberts? That's a fantastic question. Let me get my pen. <laughs> Gone for a flow writer typo pen. All of you pen fanatics out there, where have my camera? There we go. It's that one. Uh, and if uh, my fiance sees this, sorry, our pen. <laughs> You'll bring it up next time. All right. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, person of interest is a. Vivian Roberts. Everyone, this is how I write. If that changes how you think of me, then I don't know what to tell you. In 1995, Vivian Roberts, a successful business and wife for former mayor, was murdered and dragged in front of her own home. The case was never sold and the killer was never found. It was rumored that a private investigator was in Payne's Creek sometime later, but nothing more on that. Last week, we received news that the large swathes of Payne's Creek County will be auctioned off soon. We would like to revisit the story and attempt to find out the following. Who killed her? What was the motive? And what was the weapon? Submit your findings and a front page photograph of your story to be published. Don't forget to bring the camera. Right stick, look around. Left stick to move. That's a very square like car. Um, Elon Musk, I feel like, would want to be turning this into the cyber car. Use car. Do you want to leave? Uh, oh. No. <laughs> I'm playing the big give ups. Oh, I'm at the chef's office already. Uh, there is something posted on the window. It might be important. Could it be? The sensitivity on this is really like sensitive. Ah, right shoulder to zoom and Y to use camera. All right, we're going with mouse and keyboard instead. Assign controller. We're going back to controller. Cemetery gate is 1131. Thank you. It's locked. Uh huh. Close for good. Can I jump? Oh. Hang on a minute. Uh, A to take photos. Let's do. Good photo. The camera is used for capturing any important investigation. D-pad right to view the pictures taken. Is this it? Enter. Entered into a cutscene. Cool. Low screen, in fact. Duh! Hello. Prisoners? Officers? Open. Open the cell. 
I can't open the cell. I'm not a criminal. The option to open this appeared. It's disappeared. This one. More toilets. I cannot find my way in. Okay. Alright. Uh, roads. Yeah. Zoom the item. Put the item back. I'm going to store that torch. And we have got... Okay. Right, the mayor's mansion is on Maple Drive. D-pad to open map. Good to know. Uh, Vivian Roberts, this is her. Successful businesswoman found dead. Yep. All right. She was found dead in front of her home at 7.15. Mary, Mary Martinez, a maid currently working for the mansion, was retrieving the morning newspaper when she saw Vivian's body. The sheriff's uh, time of death was estimated to be between 11 last night and 1am in the morning. Bodies at the coroner's office, people of Pace Group started grieving. Vivian was indeed a person who could be respected and adored. Her success in the business continued. Loyalty to family and love Pace Group. She'll be missed. And another missing child. He did it. He was last seen on Four Pebble Lane across the river on the playground. He's wearing his favourite blue jacket and he has the scar below his left eye. We can also get ourselves some sandwiches from the Moon Cafe. Let's sit back and enjoy. Uh, is that the same news article? Scott Brooks, Payne's Creek Trinity Church pastor's son, suspected for killing. Oh. When it's reported seeing him fleeing from murder scene. I... Okay. Content recorded. LB to crouch. Okay. Ah! Oh! The key to desk. That's very good it was left here. It's locked. D-pad up to use. Aha. Read this. Uh, Vivian's case report. Okay. Scott Brooks, the only suspect of a murder case, was apprehended a few days after his body was found. Uh, they someone saw him around 11.30 near the woods north of the mansion. Two hunters were looking for more wood for their bonfire when they heard shouting. They witnessed Scott and Vivian arguing. However, they were too far to hear the content. Six months prior to Vivian's death, Scott was fired from working at the mansion. Oh. She cited Scott for tidy work and rebellious behaviour. She also prevented Scott from physically mentioning meeting Trisha, who by then had a close relationship. We're currently investigating the case. Scott is our main suspect in Vivian's murder. All right, yeah. But there's another key. There we go. Old gate key. That's good. A book! Oh, Vivian Roberts. Okay, so it's a journal. Bernard the Butler. Oh, wait. Uh, Vivian Roberts with held funeral. Bernard the Butler, Dorothy, head servant, Derek. Marv, Wanda, who's fighting cancer, attended. Vivian's husband, Charles, came with their daughter, Trisha. Charles didn't utter a word. It was very quiet. Most of the town came paid their respects. <laughs> Halfway through, Trisha started to weep loudly. Dorothy brought her elsewhere and a crying down. Now, if Dorothy looked tired, it must have been to take care of Trisha. She's been in multiple breakdowns. Calm blame. Lost for her mother and her boyfriend being accused of the killer. Cool. The town is quickly becoming a ghost town. Population has decreased drastically over the years. Ever since the deaths occurred, it seems more people are actually leaving this town. Sad to see one local town come up with it is. And then... It's been six months she was killed. Her death still bothers me. Why was she killed? What was the killer's motive? No employees are only considered to pay streets, uh, reaped any benefits. It doesn't make any sense. The hospital closed. There were inadequate of hospitals. Super so to be honest, it's hard to watch them leave. Okay. James Howard. Okay, I can't read that. Might as well shut this. I feel like someone's going to be like, you're snooping. Examine the fax machine. Hi, this is Stephen. I, I just wanted to make sure the package was sent. Again, I'm currently at Anne's Courtyard. Mm -hmm. Any extra info you have would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Interesting that came through the fax machine. Ah. Okay, can't get that yet. Read this. Uh, Sheriff James Howard, due to the decreasing population of Paines Creek County over the recent years, we've decided to delegate manpower elsewhere. This letter is to inform that you have been reassigned to Grand County. Okay, so he left a little while back. And pick up the story of Tonti. I was moving very slowly then. There's a sack of beans! What is this sack? Why am I still crouching? There we go. About time I left. Okay, notice it's been closed for good. Very interesting that they would actually close in the whole town. Hover the mouse. Oh, there we go. The thing I already did. It's locked. Oh, yeah. Take a picture. Yeah. 
Uh, key. Use. Open. Quite fiddly, but I'm sure I should get used to it. Uh, left stick to sprint. Tutorial's complete. Oh god, alright, I've been abandoned now. Okay. Some place is boarded up, but there's a car here. Hmm. Who's car? The Moon Cafe! Let's see if I can get my lunch. Oh, shut. Big books for little people, I guess. Little tykes, little whatever. Alright, I think... Map. No, map. Uh, right, Anne's Courtyard in and Suits. That's probably where we were. Oh, hence the package, and this is the car. Which isn't the package. And courtyard. Suspicious package. Nothing in the bins. Hang on a minute. What a thought. Just because in the video, depth of field. I'm going to change that just because. Or is it bloom? Bloom effect. Let's do that. The. That's better. Just the whole bit of it being slightly blurry off center was just making me feel dizzy. So let's run to the house. It's a shame I can't drive inside. No parking. Farmer's market with fresh... <gasps> cheeses! Specially selected cheeses. Cheese, cheese, cheese. No! Oh, but a bottle of wine. Man! Oh, this is the way anyway. I assume I'm going straight to the house. I'm going to be loaded into the house. Okay. Left on Maple Drive. Harsh turn here. And this must be the mansion. The murder house. Alright. Alright. I don't know why those the sounds right at the start of this really sounded like Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope I do not get jump scared like crazy. There is some eerie music, and a pianist has now turned up. Oh, let's go grab a photo. Good photo. So, do we know where the body was found? Ah, all right, gate opened into me. Pianist? What was those key clicking steps? Are you angry with me? I better not have someone jump out at me. Is this blood? The shed, of course. Man, the music's making it feel super uneasy. Can't unlock that yet. Stop that. Hidden gate. Key again. Hello, private detective. Another flashlight. And Dr. Henry Jones found drowned in vehicle at bottom of chair. Oh. Well, that's no good. It appears everyone who gets close to this is dying. This must be the Roberts family. Oh, 
what are you packing up here? Influential citizen. Uh, oh. I want someone to leave notes. Hmm. Oh, upstairs. Doors locked. A cool balcony. With little garden plots. The red room over there. Hmm. Can't open that. Can't open that one either. Uh, uh, sheet to count scores. Does my body exist? It currently does not. Locked again. Hmm. Seem to be a lot of locked doors in for an abandoned home. A chair that has been knocked over. Yep. Ah, a note. I forgot to return the servant's room's keys in time, so I left the key in the kitchen drawer. Sorry about that. A gym! Hmm. My brain is playing such tricks on me. It's, it's like expecting a werewolf or something to pop out and attack me. It's like, why would that happen? This doesn't make any sense. Theoretically, this entire town's abandoned. But I hate just the overlap of this bloody pianist. He has it out for me. Now, if I was to put a kitchen in this home. Yeah, I'd put it in here. Hello. Anyone delivering food to church on Saturdays, please lock all the doors and return the key under the flower pot. Kitchen drawer. Food, I know. Shopping this for Trisha's birthday. Free balloons, candles, new tablecloths, baking powder. Eggs and strawberries. A key! Mansion's room key. I heard clicking sounds in my own house. <laughs> cups. I'll have a lot of cups for a box. A printer. Fax, I think, has been disconnected. Christ, there's so many rooms. So long hallways. But of course, the laundry room with a built-in sink is unlocked. Pick up. A diary! I've been here for almost three months. Everyone treats me well. Most of the workers have been here for a long time. Some as long as 30. Probably oldest maid. She's always giving me snacks. The other worker is probably Bernard and Butler. Seriously, I don't think. I think Bernard don't. She's the other. And Charles and Vivian. I guess that's why they're in charge. And Charles and Vivian never together much, even when they are both at home. Who was passed away when I broke the vase? I must have been really nervous. That's a different God knows how long. Right, so Vivian told me. Walking on the grass while he was sure. Scott told me to ignore him. I'm not sure how he could be so patient with thinking of Andrew and covering. I would have assumed that Scott was Andrew's son. Contents. Where would contents be? I've got my photos. I guess that's in my journal. I'd like to go outside now. Ah, oh, the music got louder for some weird reason. Can't go through that door. 
door is bolted from the inside. How curious. Stop that music, for the love of Christ. I am not sure if I've found anything of use yet. I might have, like, sped run to the mansion by accident. I already have one. <laughs> How about upstairs here? Also, oh, security room. Little lost of where I could be. This way. It's locked. That's not the door. Oh wait, I keep forgetting key. No, nope, that's a camera. That's my photos. That's my journal. There we go. No, that's my photos again. There we go. Mansion key. That's not that. Doesn't work. Hmm. Hopeless. God, a pianist is really getting to me. Ooh, a study. A map. Ah! That would prove useful. Mansion's map. Hmm. I do think I have gone just a tad too gun ho. Does the light still work? We'll never know what that was, but I have alerted whoever is inside. That one's locked. A dark room. Another room. Hmm. Cool. Right, I found an area to go into where there's lots of lovely photos. Oh, hang on. Kill me. You had the Mona Lisa? Hmm. Well, I guess I should go in that room. But I'm going to save that for the next part. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you would like to see part two, please do let me know below. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.